Okay, I started this, forgot I had to make a video. <laughs> so, I am putting these Delphi coil packs onto my 2002 Trailblazer. And I had these very crappy, cheap, knockoff coil packs. Um, they don't really run smooth. They're very rough. They don't work right. They're pretty, I give them that, but, you know, that's about all they're worth. So... I'm installing the OEMs, which is probably the best thing you can run on these unless you can get the litter, little adapter plate and then run the second generation of coil packs. That's probably the only way to go, in my opinion, but I'm installing the OEM ones again, and it is literally that easy. You undo the bolt, do it back down. And you want these to be semi-hand tight. You want them to be a little bit tighter. Don't snap the bolt off. They're, they're very thin. They break really easy. They're kind of crappy. Um, I've broken off one before, and it was not fun. But it is that easy. Undo this bolt to get the coil pack off. Wiggle it side to side and back and forth. Should pop off like that. When you put the new coil pack in, you want to take it make sure it's positioned like this on the old on the newer ones they're square but you just take it take it over this would be a great time to inspect your spark plugs too but take it over make sure it gets onto that spark plug screw it down And then you want to tighten it with the thing because these actually hold down the valve cover. So you want to make sure those are tight because you could have a valve cover leak and go and replace the whole valve cover and it'll just be your coil packs aren't tight. I almost did that. But yeah, check them. Make sure they're not covered in oil. These ones are fine. I mean, I only had them on for two miles. <laughs> so, yeah. Watch out for very crappy um, Chinese knockoffs. This is 75 for all six. They're usually $100 per one, or you can go to the junkyard and get, get your chances with that, but it's really not that hard to put, put on. Make sure it's on the plug. I mean, it's not hard to get it on there. And getting this back on is just as easy as fitting it over the throttle body right here, fitting your tube back on, put your fuel pressure regulator line back on, and your crankcase pressure relief back on. And you want to just tighten this bag down. Don't go overboard, just enough to where you know it's tight. good this is back on obviously there's two bolts on the side that you would want to put in i don't want to put them in because i'm lazy that's that